With the first overall pick in the 2023 PLL College Draft, the Atlas Lacrosse Club have selected Gavin Adler. Defense, we're now ah! Wait, it didn't take long for his teammates to mob him. And he just rises to the occasion, and he did it again. Like I said, it was just competing the moment. That was it. number one pick in the PLL draft, Gavin Adler, has been showing out and has lived up to expectations. His short frame but dog mentality play style has transferred perfectly from college to the pros. He was questioned going into the pros whether he'd be able to handle the more physical matchups. I think this question was answered well before when we saw Adler win his matchup against Sam Hanley in his senior season. Coming into week two of the PLL, Michael Rex Road was given the Zed Williams matchup for their game against the Whipsnakes. The 2020 MVP sitting at 230 pounds was a nightmare for Atlas. After a strong two goal quarter, Mike Pressler, the Atlas head coach, switched Adler onto Zed going into the second. He was then held to zero points from that point onward. I'm going to show you some of these matchups, but more importantly, I want to show you some of the little plays that Adler does that makes him a winner. This first matchup and every matchup in this game, Adler was defined by two key things, pestering Zed's hands and completely denying top side no matter what. Zed wants his right hand, so Adler is completely shading that side with his stick and body even before he makes contact. As Zed begins to drive, Adler is constantly applying contact and can visually see that he's strong enough to move Zed. What's important here though, is Adler is making him pay for his bully play style. If Zed wants to back Adler down, he has to deal with a barrage of checks in his body. If you're playing a big man, this is so key. They're going to be slower because their weight, so take advantage and throw more checks. One last thing to note about this matchup is the fact that Adler is a lefty that gives him an advantage. When he seals Zed, he has all six feet of pull in front of him because Zed is a righty dodger. This allows him to throw slaps while also applying body pressure. Let's take a look at one of Adler's cause turnovers. If we're being honest, there's not much to break down here, it's just a pure effort play. If you've never played lacrosse before, you can still see that Adler is just trying harder. He has more heart than anyone out there. He's a good 3-4 yards behind Zed and still gets to him. This dog mentality is what's going to make him a top pole in the league. Here's another one-on-one -on -one matchup where Adler keeps the same principles as before. He's completely shading Zed, inviting him to go to his left hand. One thing to note about Adler here is how fast he drops into his stance and matches Zed's body language. It looks like Zed is going to pass at first, but as soon as he starts to move forward, Adler drops his hips and gets into a defensive stance. As Zed moves up towards the island, notice how Adler's stick is glued to Zed. It only comes off his hands when he applies body pressure. This makes it almost impossible for Zed to get a pass or shot off at any point. Adler is able to deny the redodge and deny any sort of offense from being created. Especially in the PLL with a 52 second shot clock, long matchups like this that don't create anything absolutely kill an offense's momentum. Here's one of the small plays that Adler makes that goes unnoticed by most viewers yet changes the course of the game. As Adler approaches his man, their hips are pointed towards the sideline along with their head showing Adler they're going to pass. Even with a small wingspan, Adler gets a stick in the passing lane while moving with his man. This is called dragging, moving with your man while having your stick behind you in the passing lane. The midi now has to craft his pass around Adler's stick, which makes him throw a bad one. A common misconception with players is that the only reason you have your stick up is to block passes in the air. The more important reason is to mentally change the Dodgers' decision making, whether that's throwing a pass sidearm or not throwing it at all. Taking a look at another cause turnover, we can see how Adler's high lacrosse IQ can lead to simple cause turnovers. As Curse comes down the field, his body language, along with his stick, is screaming that he's going to shoot. Adler waits to double until Curse tucks his stick for a dodge, which signals to him that he can't pass or shoot anymore. 
After getting him on the ground and checking the ball out, the most impressive part is the ground ball. 99% of players here would have to rake this ball to get it out because they're moving in the opposite direction that they're scooping in. But Adler is able to, in one swift motion, scoop it out and run the other way. Generally in defense, you always want to be moving backwards and never lunge forward. It's nearly impossible to move a good player in the opposite direction. One of the few times you need to do this is when you're pushing someone out of bounds. Rambo picks up the ground ball and has about 3-4 to four yards to recover, but Adler is hounding him and is able to push him out. The important thing to note is how he keeps pretty mild pressure until he knows Rambo is off balance and near the sideline and then he delivers a big lunging hit that needs to get him out of bounds. He doesn't worry whether he succeeded or not, he just immediately drops steps and continues to cover him. Too many guys will point at the line or give up coverage because they felt that the guy was out of bounds even if the ref said they weren't. In this play, Zed probably gets one of his better shots off on Adler, but there's a couple things Adler does very well. Just with the start of this play, you can tell how strong Adler is by being able to bump Zed off him and change his direction. But the main thing that I want to note here is how Adler closes out the space between him and Zed. If you're playing someone that big, getting a running start, you're going to lose the matchup no matter what. Contrary to that, if you're playing someone smaller and faster, you can give them some more space so you have more time to react. Zed is able to shrug off Adler, making him lose his footing, but because of how athletic Adler is, he recovers and forces a hard shot. For this last play, I don't want to comment much on it. I just want to end off by watching Adler's effort on this man down play. This is what makes him indispensable. If you could take one thing away from this video, it would be that Adler, right now, has proven he is the number one pick and the best rookie in the league.